couldn't wait to give to the Denver Children's Home, where Eric, Steve, and I were going to present all the money and gifts we've raised for the home. Exactly 43 hours ago, we were dropped into Denver. We were asked to find some place that could use somebody to come alongside of them and help them in a great mission that they've already been on. This is the place. Over 130 years old, helping kids. You know, being part of this big give and, and, and experiencing what people are willing to do just blows me away. We're going to oh provide $25,000 worth of office furniture. We even got contractors to donate their time, their labor, and the material for these much needed renovations. M&H Lighting donated $14,000 of new lighting equipment. And we were able to get the Denver Children's Home the playground equipment they so desperately needed. We've got tire swings and rock walls and all kinds of climbing features, and we'll be here to make sure that you guys soar in whatever it is you choose to do. Just as the folks at Denver Children's Home thought it was all over, we had a few great tricks up our sleeve. We got a last bit of surprise. The total for the Denver Children's Home is $293,000. Oh so for the last 48 hours, you've seen myself at camp continue to drive here and work around here. And you know, you're getting probably pretty tired of seeing us driving in and out. So why don't you take my keys and... Jerry, why don't you take my keys and we're giving you our here. 2007 Ford Edges. And these are the best part is, is that these cars will keep on giving to the kids of the Denver Children's Home. It's really important to give the kids things that allow them to heal and to be kids. What Eric and Cameron and Steve did was come in and they said, we can make that happen. And they did. They didn't just dream it, they executed it. What you've done will take your kids for a really long time, and we do it the best, but you guys are the best. <laughs> this is a car equipped with hand controls, and this would be a great gift for somebody who's getting ready to get out of rehab who can't afford to buy their own car. Hello, Mustafa. Mustafa was paralyzed in a car accident. He's from Bosnia. Mustafa's married and has two children, and Mustafa does not have the means to buy a car. So this is my car. And what I do is I swing it around like this. And voila. Pretty easy, huh? Yep. You want to try it? Then it was Mustafa's turn. So I cleared the way. Well, look at you. He's learning everything all over again, just like I had to do. Why don't you start the car and drive away? Because this is your car. It was black color. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I remember back when I was in rehab, and my parents' friends gifted me with a car when I got out of rehabilitation. What an honor to be able to give a gift of that magnitude. <laughs> a car to somebody like me represents independence. So the reveal is about to happen, and it's, and it's so amazing. I wanted to help a fellow soldier get back on the track financially. Jason's in for a nice little surprise. Good morning. <laughs> Tonight, we're here to celebrate Jason on behalf of the Big Give. Um, he's a Benjamin Franklin. So you can just help me um, to give big to Jason and his family, or we're going to count it out. All right, in unison. One, two, three. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 39, 40. One more? Sure. <laughs> why not? Right? Why not? Why, why you're going. 24, 25, 26. So on behalf of the big give, I'd like to give you $4,600. So. The next person who I'd like to bring up here is the one responsible for, um, you know, pulling all of this together, right? Come on up here, Jake. Tell us what you have in stores. On behalf of my staff, we want to donate our proceeds from tonight. We started at 9 o'clock when we started this, and we're going to run through until every last person's out of here, and we're going to give you that money. I will. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. 
Okay, thanks. Angelo, just what he did in the short amount of time he has been here is tremendous when we're in the time of need. Oh, I gotta ask you something. Yeah. We surprised Jason here tonight, and Jake surprised me because I had no idea what he was gonna do for Jason. I just had a revelation. I'm thinking since Jake is, you know, going above and beyond what I asked him to do, you know, I'm thinking that I should reward him for epitomizing what the big give is about. Sometimes it's not about the receiver. You know, sometimes it's all right for the giver to get an award as well. So, Jake, on behalf of the Big Give, I'd like to give you our Big Give Ford Edge. We dropped you off in Denver, Colorado with one mission, find somebody who needs you. Everybody knows you either give big or you go oh. home. Yeah. You got it. As you know, our judges have been giving big in their own lives for years. Say hello to our judges, Jamie Oliver, Malak Compton Rock, and Tony Gonzalez. Guys? Should we start with the three boys? I thought this was interesting because it the three boys paired together. Didn't uh, have to. Mm-hmm and chose to come together. We were impressed with all of the donations that you were able to get in that really short period of time. We're very curious about who did what. My question to you, Cameron, would be who was the weakest out of your team? For me, I don't think uh, I can pick out anyone who uh, didn't perform up to par. The teamwork thing, obviously yeah. that's working for you guys. Keep that up as long as you can. Why don't we talk with Rachelle? So how much cash did you raise? Hard cash? I raised no cash. No that cash. That wasn't my focus. My focus was to create a special day and to really touch and reach these women who had HIV. What's the proudest thing about the work that you did with these ladies? This was tough. It was really tough. Um, I just knew I wanted to create something awesome and I really worked it and I created an amazing day. So a life-changing experience? Very much so for me. I thought that you gave them an absolutely beautiful day. Just wonderful. It made them feel pretty and special, and that helps to raise their self-esteem and their self-confidence, and you should feel proud of yourself. Very good. You really should. All right, next stop, Kim. You didn't really have a plan at the beginning. I never really thought I would find what I found. I, I fell in love with those kids. They, they blew me away. Well, Thanks. good on you, darling. Thanks. Welcome. <laughs> Angelo, okay. I've got some questions to ask. You went for a military boy because you've got that in common. That's right, exactly. I wanted to identify with someone. When the twist in the story came to give the car away, mm -hmm. I was a bit confused as to why you gave it to the manager of TGI Fridays. Part of my reason for giving it to him was because he was passionate, he was motivated, and he inspired me and others in the community to continue giving. This is what I think, right? If I was that army guy and I had the choice of free meals or a car, I know what I'd go for. I'll go for the car, dude. I wanted to see you give that car to somebody who was a little bit more deserving. Carlana. Bring it on, baby. Bring it on. Oh, no. I was really impressed by you. And thank you. You know what? I really wanted to find somebody who spoke to my heart. And Roger walked by. I really believe fate stepped in. I believe everything happens for a reason. I, I particularly like not only who you gave your car to, but how you gave it. And I thought what was really good about it was that it was something close to your heart. Yeah, it really struck a chord with me. Mm -hmm. well, that's what it's all about. Yeah. I love how you're getting so involved with it. Brandy, you had 48 hours, uh, which is a tough call. Did you feel that you got to the right person or, or that it was like a panic impulse on, on the person in need that you were looking after? No, after I spoke with Celeste, I mean, I felt like a light bulb went off in my head. I said, that's the person. And I love that I was able to give to a perfect stranger. Interesting. Sheg, how did it make you feel to brighten so many lives in 48 hours? Humble and compassionate. Actually making a personal connection. This is the greatest gift you could ever give a human being. Well done. Well, guys, it's time for Tony, Malak, and Jamie to make their big decision. All right. <laughs> Shall we? Let's yeah, do it. Help, help right. me, I'm getting really worried because I know that this challenge was very tough for me, and I have a feeling that I'm going to be in the bottom three. I think the judges will be blown away by what we pulled off. How can you not be? The only 